Hello everyone, I am Welshie and welcome to Railway Empire. It has been a little while since I've done a video on this game, but I wanted to try and do one today because the new update uh, has just come out. It's a bit of DLC for Great Britain and Ireland, which introduces British engines. Now, I'm just going to go straight into the uh, sandbox mode. Yeah, there we go, new map. Uh, so I just want to do the sandbox mode because I kind of just want to really... We'll start with 80. Yeah, we'll do the full scale there. Uh, because I really just want to uh, kind of have a look at what's been included. If you want me to do like a campaign or mission or what have you in this, uh, I might do one later. Just let me know in the comments below. Anyway, so the British Isles are characterised by their settlement history, which dates back several millennia and cities, partly centuries old, are huddling tightly packed. Northwest England is home to steam locomotives. Very soon, nifty businessmen will take advantage of the enormous power of steam locomotives and thus open up a new chapter in history. Uh, so what are we going to choose for our um, kind of initial settlement? So it wants to put us in Belfast. Uh, I'm probably going to go with... Oh, I could go with Wrexham, Swansea, Cardiff. I'm going to start in Wales. We're going to start in... We're going to start in Cardiff, and I'm going to get Wales connected before we start kind of moving out into the wider uh, kind of English border counties and then up into Scotland. Um, I'm going to change the rail network just to... Uh, we'll go with normal. The reason being, I kind of uh, just want to Together, really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really get uh, the trains actually running and just have a look at what the British locomotives look like. Okay, let's take a look. So, uh, here's Wales in all its glory. Uh, plenty of farming, some mines, coal. Yep, that makes sense. We've got Swansea, Cardiff, Hereford and Wrexham. And we move around Manchester, Liverpool. Uh, I suppose, really, I should have started with Liverpool and done the Liverpool to Manchester line. I think that was like the first kind of public uh, railway in the world, which is where... Um, Kind of uh, Robert Stevenson had uh, the rocket win at the Rainhill Trials, so that would have been an interesting one to do. But we're not following history. We're going to make Wales kind of the centre of the railway empire. Although I suppose if you consider Richard Trevithick's uh, kind of locomotive in, what was it, 1804 in Merthyr Tidville? Um, that was kind of the real progenitor of steam engines. Are, these, are those eagles or seagulls? Anyway... Uh, so first thing we're going to do, I'm going to build a large train station. We want Swansea to be kind of the beginning of this massive railway empire. And ah, this is handy because I'm guessing you can build like a railway bridge all the way across to Ireland. And they've got this big red area where you can't put the bridge in, which makes perfect sense. Uh, so I'm going to put another station uh, in kind of edge of Cardiff. Uh, we'll wait for them to build the Millennium Stadium in, what year are we, 1830? Yeah, we've got a little while before they, uh, build any rugby stadiums. Um, we also want to make sure that we have maintenance building. Right, let's get the first track laid in. So, I, what I want to do, I know it's not going to be kind of the most efficient way of doing it, but I kind of want it following the coast just for that little bit then bring it in connect it here bam okay so we've got that uh we're gonna put a supply tower in have they changed the semaphore signals to look like the british style let's take a look well, there's no signals as such i mean it certainly looked like it from the uh image there although oh, it makes sense because I'm playing in kind of the uh, the normal mode where signals aren't really a requirement. Um, there's not much point to it. So let's get our first train running. So we're going to run Swansea to Cardiff. And uh, let's see, we'll add a locomotive. Here we go. So, oh, it's given me all of them. I was hoping for just the British ones, but it's given me the American ones as well. Absolutely fine. Um, I suppose it's because I just kind of went straight in into the sandbox mode so it's not restricted it to just the British ones but that's the ones I'm going to purchase so I'm not going to do the rocket <laughs> I will buy it at some point in one of the future lines I guess um, 
but I think for the first express I want to get in, it's a little bit slow. Uh, we've got the Firefly. We've got Jenny Lind. Let's see. Iron Duke. What else have we got? Consolidation. Those are American ones, which is, again, fine. But I'm looking specifically for the British ones. What's the Rail Crusher? That's an Express. Ooh, ooh, Taff Fail Tank Engine. Bam, that will do nicely. And you are set to automatic, so uh, let's do a ridle. Ah, oh, brilliant. See you, Swansea. Bye-bye. Wheel down. Oh, my God, this is cool. Oh, oh, I like being able to look up at the buffers. I hadn't d really thought of doing that, just kind of looking around in the... Uh, this kind of first person mode. Ah, oh, beautiful. God, this game does look absolutely fantastic. It's so gorgeous. I like being able to um, blow the whistle, obviously. Uh, but kind of being able to ride along with the train and then just being able to kind of center it within the view so you can get a good look at at it in motion just ah oh, so well animated and you can see the driver in the cab as well i mean you can't get into a cab view um but it's still cool and they've obviously replaced the flags at the front um that you normally see are american ones with british ones oh gosh this is so cool why am I so excited about trains? I don't know. I've always kind of liked them, but finally being able to see kind of... Um, there's not much point getting here because it's the free mode. Um, but actually being able to see them like fully represented in a train management type game like this um, is, is something I'm not used to. Like the last kind of major game I really remember them being included in was Sid Meier's Railroads. Uh, but that was a much more uh, kind of almost cartoony stylized um, kind of game. It wasn't as realistic uh, as this um, kind of simulation game or like Railroad Tycoon, for example, where you're really uh, kind of managing things a bit more in depth. Um, it did obviously have some of that management uh, kind of aspect to it, but a lot of the visuals as well were very cartoony for lack of a better word like they were uh, overly caricatured like the kind of scale and size oh you are slow what because you oh because you're going uphill i guess and that's quite a long train anyway we'll leave you to it uh little taff tank engine oh even from up here you look amazing all right let's get further in but yeah, Sid Meier's Railroads, I, I do like the game, um, but it's also the lack of tenders on the uh, on the tender locomotives um, that kind of puts me off a little bit. Like, you've got the front of the locomotive, doesn't have the tender, so you don't have the fuel source, and it just looks a little bit weird. More like a model railway than this, which is kind of actually connecting stuff. Right, so we've got Swansea to Cardiff. There is a connection. We're fine with that. Let's take a quick look at Swansea. So, uh, you've got back fatters, fish. Oh, yes, there's new, um, there's new industries, which is obviously reflective of the British Isles and uh, Ireland as well, uh, which is pretty cool. I like it. Doesn't look like there's... Wait, is there demand for passengers? Anyone waiting at the station? I do like that you can kind of zoom in on the towns as well, and they feel... I mean, not perfectly alive, like in, uh, I guess, like, Train Fever, where you can do the kind of trams and um, set up, like, the horse-drawn omnibuses and stuff like that. But it's enough to really give it this feeling of activity, and it's not just, like, a lifeless plot of buildings, like in the older Railroad Tycoon games, like Railroad Tycoon 2, which, obviously due to the restrictions of technology at the time they couldn't really do much about but it's things like look you can see the pigs in the meat industry buildings over here uh people walking along the pavements and the streets it's very very cool wait where'd the train go where did the train go did it leave without me 
Oh! <laughs> it just arrived at Cardiff. I wasn't paying attention. What you got? You're taking... Oh! Oh, what are you taking? You've got passengers, uh, cider, and mail. Now, the cider will be alcoholic because this is Britain and we like alcohol, I guess. Right. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to now connect to Hereford. So, we'll follow um, kind of the River Severn uh, up to Hereford, past the Apple Orchard. Which I'm guessing is supplying Cardiff uh, with apples for the cider. This is really cool as well. Like, the maps I've played in the American one have been kind of flat plains for the most part with occasional hills. This, like, legitimately looks quite Welsh with the terrain, like, um, in terms of the mountains, hills, valleys with the rivers flowing through them, uh, as well as I'd expect them to be represented in kind of this management style of game. Um, you've then got, like, Snowdon and Snowdio Snowdonia over in this end. Um, is that Bomaris Castle? We've got castles on the map! I mean, do they're not actually a business or anything. But, you know, what about the tourism? That would actually be really cool if you could do that. Anyway, um, so I'm going to get the line connected to Hereford. Then we'll continue north to Wrexham. And then we'll have Birmingham begin to be our hub uh, for our expansion out into England. So let's get another large uh, railway station on the go. We'll flip it this way. And I'm going to put it... No, because of the river, so I'll kind of put it here. Uh, doot, doot, doot. I'm also going to upgrade it with maintenance building because, yeah. Now, Hereford, we could potentially have a line going south towards Bath. So I am going to have the railway line like this come into... Uh, Ba, 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 bum. Yeah, we'll go there. I want to leave these two to go across towards kind of London and then down into like the Devon and, uh, and Cornwall kind of area later on. So we'll build that. Supply tower. Oh, look at that. Look at that tunnel just going through the Welsh mountains. And we'll put you up right there. Beautifully done. Okay. So we want to form another railway line going Cardiff to Hereford. Uh, we'll leave the loading as automatic for the moment. I'll set up um, kind of specific trains uh, a bit later on now. Which one shall we have this time? So we've done the Taff Fail tank engine. We haven't done the rail crusher. Uh, ba -ba, you're on Express. 67% tractive power, which isn't ideal. However, I want to have a look anyway. So, center the train. What have you got? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's... Uh, whoops. There we go. Looking out over the Welsh countryside. Cardiff receding into the distance behind us. This is what I really love about this game, is that you can kind of just do this uh, very kind of removed overview of what you want to do just from this top-down, uh, almost isometric perspective. Uh, so you can just build the lines in and manage the railways if you just want to do that side of thing. Or you can go straight into the sandbox mode, uh, build basically any railway that you want and then just ride along on the train and admire the scenery and kind of listen to the power in that engine. Fantastic! And just being able to kind of look at the river as it winds through the countryside like, yeah, that's a pretty typical Welsh river. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I really like it. Let's get you centred back in. And back out a little bit. Fantastic. Arrived at Hereford. How much money would that make us if I was doing this in the actual mode? Uh, I missed it, but quite a lot. And 
off we go with more passengers. It's interesting because we're in 1830, like um, I've got access to all the trains, but the carriages are basically just these tiny little sheds on wheels, except for the mail train. Uh, let's do the ride along. Going back the other way, of course. Let's have a look back. <laughs> That's really cool. In there. That's seriously cool as well, just just the change in uh, the sound to the whistle, listen. So it has a much stronger um, echo effect as you're going through the tunnels uh, compared to, oh, hang on, I want to have a look at this in the uh, centered view. So it has a much louder kind of echo to it when you're in the tunnels compared to when you're out. And that's just a nice little touch. And look at that. Oh, the timing of that was perfect. Two trains arriving at the station exactly the same time. Hereford tank. Loaded up. Departing roughly the same time. I mean, it's just the little things. Little things like that give me such immense joy. That's, that's just fun. Uh, right, so I am going to chuck another station in at uh, Rexham. Does it need to be a large station or shall I just whack a regular station in? I mean, I can always upgrade it later on. Uh, let's rotate you this way. I don't feel like Wrexham needs to be that major of a hub for the railway. I mean, I suppose Hereford didn't either, but I like Hereford for being quite central Wales to be able to just go off uh, to the east or to the north. So, what we will do with Wrexham... There we go, lovely. Get a train line in to Hereford. Uh, we'll go in for platform four because I want to leave these three open. Uh, I kind of don't want to put the water tower, supply tower, in the cutting, so... Ooh, what we got here? Bakerfield? Producing oil? Huh, okay. That's something I need to look at. Oh, let's... Let's just hire everyone. Hire everyone! And start putting them on trains. What we will do is the Swansea to Hereford line. You can have a stoker. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's give you a conductor. Conductors don't really matter as much because they, they give you uh, a better percentage of money from passenger trains. Um, but because we're just kind of in the sandbox mode, I'm not that concerned with... Uh, the the financial side of managing this. Okay, so wham. Uh, let's get a locomotive in there. Uh, I feel like Mallard would be overkill, but I kind of want to see Flying Scotsman on the go. I mean, we've got the Taft tank engine. Any others I want to try putting in there first? I mean, I am tempted to use the Iron Duke or the Waverley, but they're quite slow. But I might do... What I might do, because these are mixed traffic engines so I'd probably use them for we'll go with another rail crusher um, probably save them for like um, what's the word I'm looking for what is the word I'm looking for goods engines that's the one break down no you're not allowed to break down Well, I guess you have. Okay, let's ha have a look. Let's get you centered. Nice. <laughs> oh, gosh. The simple things entertain me. They really do. I mean, look at these flowers in the fields as we're passing. That's lovely. 
Oh dear. Anyway, I should probably get up. That's a lot of meat. Ham. You're just carrying a lot of ham to Hereford. I mean, I don't have an issue with that. Although the, I suppose the problem is you're an express train carrying a load of freight. But you know what? I've set you to automatic, so I kind of can deal with that afterwards. Right. Uh, so that's all of the Welsh stations actually connected. Now, what I am going to do here... I'm going to have a train. Uh, I'll have you connect on this line, like so. I want. I'm going to set up just an express that goes to all of the stations, kind of in turn. Let's have a look. Have I messed this up? Yep, because it needs to go on the other side, which means it has to cross over uh, the line here. So I've made something of a mistake there, haven't I? Let me see. I mean, it's not a major issue. I'm not that worried. Let's pull you out this way. Not too much, just because I'm very aware of... I mean, I suppose I could just do that, have the line cross over there. Um, I mean, it's not such an issue because I've turned off the kind of realism mode, so let's just get that in. Right, so we're going to set up a new train. New locomotive goes from Wrexham to Hereford to Cardiff to Swansea, back to Cardiff, back to Hereford, and back to Wrexham. Uh, we're going to set this as an express only, so it's passengers and mail only. Add locomotive, and here we go, the moment I've been waiting for, Flying Scotsman. Probably one of the most famous locomotives in the world. Uh, the first train to be confirmed as uh, hitting the 100, magic 100 miles an hour. Although, uh, I think unofficially it was uh, City of Truro. But this was the first one that was that has been confirmed as doing 100 miles an hour. Wow, that that is very well modelled. That looks very good. My goodness. In the classic kind of uh, apple green livery, as opposed to the kind of Brunswick green, I think it's currently painted in. Nice little crossover there. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's very cool. Brakes! Brakes! Right. As awesome as that is, I've just realised I've completely forgotten to put supply towers in. So we'll go one there. I know it's not ideal, but it's where it's going. One there. Uh, we should prob... Wait, hang on a tick. How did you get onto this line? I didn't think you could change tracks. Um, okay, well... Never mind, I guess. I, I honestly do not know how how this one got on it. It means that my beautiful coastal route is not in use. Well, that's disappointing. Never mind. Which trains is coming in? Is that the Scotsman? No. Oh. Are all these locomotives changing their changing the route they're on. Huh. Honestly did not know they could do that, but never mind. Right. Where's Scotsman? Uh. Uh. What have I done wrong here? Because you've gone straight back to from 
Hereford to Wrexham. What did I do wrong here? Hang on a minute. So Wrexham to Hereford to Cardiff to Swansea back to Cardiff back to Hereford. Ah! Uh, I need to take Wrexham off like that because then it should I think. I think that's where I made the error. Slowed due to missing equipment. Uh... Oh, I do need to put in a, um, what's the word? Supply tower down here, I suppose. Let's pop one there. Why not? Why not? Hopefully the carriages, uh, or well, the coaches actually get upgraded before long, because it's a bit weird seeing the Flying Scotsman uh, kind of polyglog these tiny little sheds on wheels. Well, you've got a service tower not far off. I actually put two of them too close together, didn't I? Never mind. There we go. That's the problem I had. That's what I did wrong, isn't it? Is because I put um, Hereford, uh, an extra Hereford in towards the end. I think. They, or an extra Wrexham even. I think it kind of skipped out the rest of the route for some reason. So I'm going to zoom out, let you do what you need to do from this overhead view as I kind of look at the flow of goods. So we've got... Hereford requires barley but isn't receiving any. Uh, passengers and mail I'm quite happy with. Back fatters we're sorted. Now fish is another one. Cardiff needs it. Hereford needs it, and there is a supplier that way, so I could get that sorted. Apples is another one. Apples should be quite easy to do, I think. So there's no reason not to. Get off the Scotsman's line! What are you doing on there? I really legitimately do not know how the TAF tank engine managed that, but anyway. Uh, ham. We've got ham coming in from... Swansea, we've got 100% fulfillment of demand, but nothing being consumed each month. But it doesn't matter, we're fulfilling the demand whether they want it or not. Um, and cider, we've got cider coming in uh, to Swansea as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to work on. Oh, let's get rid of that, there we go. So, fish. Ooh, and piggies, actually. Uh, that's not what I wanted, this one. So, back fatters. Uh, so I do need... We're producing three a month. Okay, so we need to have the pigs heading into Swansea. From the pig farm. Actually, let's go ahead and have a look. Look at that. We got pigs on the farm. American style farm buildings, but you know what, whatever, that's fine. I'm not expecting like everything to have been changed for the DLC. The main things are there, which is the locomotives and the map itself. I'm quite happy with that. And they've also got uh, the businesses uh, in there as well. They've updated and changed those. So uh, what should I do? I'll probably have, um, let me think. So, we've got backfatters, needs to go to Swansea, that's fine. Random breakdown on the TAF locomotive, which I don't like. Okay, so I could get a warehouse in over here. Let's see. I mean, that's fine, that's fine. What about sheep's wool? Wood. Vegetables, there's no demand anywhere yet. Lumber. No, whiskey. Cheese! Eel pie. What about coal? Hmm, okay. Well, we'll focus on the fish and the back fatters. So, this is probably the final thing I'm going to do for this video. Uh, I am going to put in a warehouse. Uh... 
I'm going to put the warehouse in here. Then we'll build a small station at the back fatters. I'm going to put it here because I don't want to ruin their lovely farm. Uh, we'll get another station in here. That'll do for the moment because those are the main two which will go into the warehouse. Uh, we can worry about this later on. For the warehouse, I am going to put in a maintenance building. We'll have those two and set them to max. Right. So, trains. You're going into platform one. Uh, you're going to go in to platform two. Look at that beautiful viaduct. Lovely. If I was playing this with the um, uh, kind of realistic mode, I probably wouldn't do it this way. Um, I'd have like a single line with a passing loop going from the cattle to the fishery to the warehouse um, just to save on the expense of putting additional supply towers and trains in. I could have the one that would pick up uh, as it goes. So what we'll do then, we're going to have... Let's set up fisheries to warehouse. Now, this is where we're going to go a bit uh, old school with the locomotives. Iron Duke, you're a mixed traffic engine, so I'm going to put you on this line. I will give you a stoker as well. It's the stoker stokes. Uh, let's have a look at you. Oh, brilliant. A single massive driving wheel in the centre. No cab, no protection for the driver and fireman. Exposed to the elements. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I'm getting way too into this. Uh, so we'll set up another line going from Thomas Cattle to the warehouse. Leave it as automatic loading. And the next train we'll put in there will be... Nope, we've already got the tank. We've got the rail crusher. We will go with... The Waverly. Wabam. Let's take a look at you. Uh, what did I do wrong there that you're not collecting anything? What have I done? When you're connected to the business, what did I do that's not right? Oh! Silly me. That's what I did wrong. I put barley in instead of the bloody backfatters. Uh, okay, well, on your next trip, you'll get it right. I mean, I'll I'll have fixed it. That's kind of cool. Look at that, just passing across that viaduct. Two huge driving wheels. I like that you can actually see the, uh, the crew working. Uh, when you've got the more open cab style like these. Sorry, I sent you on a completely wasted journey, but uh, you've got it next time. That's fine. Right. So, uh, if I'm correct, then the fisheries needed to supply Swansea, as did the backfatters. Okay. So that means I could put in a single line going into Swansea. So we'll close that. Whoops, uh, nope, yep, yeah, I'm right, I'm right. So, single line into Swansea, like so. Let's pull that out a little bit to there, just so it's not as sharp a turn. Where have we gone wrong here? There. There we go. Whoa, that's, uh, Steep drop. 15%? No, I don't think so. Um, okay, there we go. Make sure we put a supply tower in as well, because it is going to need it. Uh, new line going from the warehouse to Swansea. Automatic loading, I think, is fine, because it'll just take whatever's most needed. I'm not going to go with Scotsman. We will go with the TAF tank engine. Just because I do like it, and it is more of a mixed 
goods ones. So what are you taking with you? All fish. Just fish. Oh, that does look so, so good. Here it goes, down the gradient. Just look at the coast off in the distance there as it heads towards Swansea. And the, uh, the, the Gower, Gower Bay? I, I can't remember what Swansea's like, I haven't been there in years. Obviously, you know, some, somewhat after 1834, it's changed, uh, a little bit since then, I think, but there we are. Beautifully done, as another Taft tank engine comes in. Yeah, you've got nothing to take back with you, but that's fine. Sometimes it's nice just to watch the individual kind of locomotive on the go. Oh, working hard to get up that hill. Yes. I think the developers have done a pretty solid job with this, actually. I mean, the um, the kind of landscape looks suitably different enough to kind of the base um, American Midwest and that kind uh, uh, and the North and uh, North American continent, that kind of thing. Um, I think it looks different enough. Um, that is quite fresh and interesting. Taking more fish. Um, I, I do really, really like it. I think it's turned out really well. Ah, that's why. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too much for you. Uh, we'll manage the train. There's no point giving you a conductor whatsoever. Uh, what if we... Change that down to like a maximum of four because I don't think the production is going to be that much anyway. So, um, I'm, you know, I there's no point in you struggling along at 11 miles an hour. Ah, oh, heck with it. Let's get them both. Get you an engineer. Which increases your tractive effort. Which hopefully would increase... Yep, there we go. An extra one mile per hour from that. Oh, he's paying for himself already. <laughs> there goes that Taft tank engine just blitzing in to get more fish. Because that's all we have. Away you go! You've taken just the one because I think that's all that Swansea needs. They've got plenty of fish. I should probably change this line as well, actually. Uh, we'll reduce that down to, like, five. You don't need to take more than that. That would be silly. Oh, you are really struggling, aren't you? Oh. Oh, it's so heavy. I know I said, like, what? Ten minutes ago I was going to end this video, but I'm just really, really into it right now. Really enjoying myself, just admiring these feats of British engineering and style in the countryside. Yeah, I really do think they've kind of done a fantastic job of getting uh, kind of a, a different feel in this DLC. Um, I mean, in all fairness, I haven't played like the um, uh, like the Mexico one or anything like that. This is the first one I've really kind of been that interested in purchasing. But it's probably worth looking at some of the others later on. But I'm, I need to get Mallard on the express journey at some point as well uh, in this one. There we go. We've got plenty of back fatters heading off towards Swansea. Swansea's become a nice little hub. Let's see, what are you actually... I mean, you're you're kind of overstocked on ham. I need more ham going out. But that is something I can address. I really wish you would go back to using the line I told you to. Never mind. You carry on. 
let's see where Flying Scotsman's up to, shall we? Being serviced. Yeah, quite right. Yep, there we go. Express train on the move. Fantastic. Cool, well, I think that's kind of a nice uh, initial look at it. I've got... Um, kind of all of the Welsh towns connected. We've got a couple of the businesses connected up to Swansea as well. There's plenty to do in Wales as it is, but I uh, kind of want to expand out uh, into England, up into Scotland. Uh, nothing on the Isle of Man, unfortunately, although obviously with the kind of scale this is set at, it's probably a bit small to try and put anything in. Um, but eventually we can get across to Ireland. Might use the Isle of Man as like a jumping point to get across. Or we could try actually from Anglesey in North Wales. Anyway, yes, I'm I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying myself immensely just watching these trains fly. <laughs> flying along in the Welsh countryside into these stations that are completely underutilised. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this very quick look at the Great Britain and Ireland DLC for Railway Empire. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see some more. I'm probably going to play around with the sandbox mode uh, a little bit more in a couple of future videos. If you want to see me try and tackle some more realistic uh, kind of campaign options and so on, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see as well, actually, or if there's any other of these style of transport and railway management games you'd like me to try um but anyway guys thank you so much for joining me on this one if you liked it hit the like button down below and as always i'll catch you in the next video bye bye